Hello, 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 hi! Welcome back to my YouTube channel! Thank you for your love affair too! I am back like a star! So we're gonna start out by peeling our potatoes, right? Yes, we peel our potatoes. So yeah, I peeled a lot. I don't know how many did I peel. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna uh, cut them, dice them, um, yeah, and then I put, I wash them, and then I put water in the pot, and then I allow them to boil. Second step, we're gonna take an onion, half an onion, I think it'll be enough, and then just chop it. We're cooking, we're making tin fish here. So I love my food hard, so I added jalapenos, and then now I'm adding garlic, half a spoon. Yes, half a spoon. So, after adding half a spoon of garlic, I'm going to take cooking oil. Guys, you measure with your eyes here. You measure with your eyes. I can't say 5,5 kilometers of oil. Eh, eh, I'm measuring with my eyes. So, yeah, I'm going to open the tin fish. So, uh, I'm about to debone my, my fish. And then the process that I did there was to put bread in and milk to soak my bread you'll see what i'm gonna do with that bread later so here i added my spices i'm sorry i didn't show you guys the spices that i used um yeah i'm sure i used raja and beef stock yeah and now i'm adding my tin fish yes my tin fish so guys you have to mash up your tin fish i know some people don't like meshing it till it's mesh meshed but yes this point you have to you have to it's a must it's a must it's compulsory so my favorite ingredient to add chutney ah! wow guys you should try this you should try adding chutney at your uh tin fish i promise you it's nice it's nice so this is where the bread that soaks come in i'm gonna break it up and put the bread inside the thingy the tin fish and then i'm gonna break one egg this egg is to keep the tin fish at one place because we're gonna make tin fish meatballs yes so you're gonna need your flour and your tin fish obviously because we're making tin fish meatballs like you get me you get me yes we're in the right path i must begging let's go on let's go on let's go on um yeah just make enough you, you, you're obviously gonna use all the tin fish so yeah i used all the tin fish and then you put your oil and then you're gonna fry them for two minutes at each side yes yeah allow your oil to heat first so that you don't have to wait for long you get me you're frying obviously you need hot oil it's a cherry on top <laughs> yes easy as pie right 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 yep all right so i'm gonna take them out and put in the next batch so i'm not gonna show you the next batch so you already saw so i don't want to waste your time i added butter so this time if you guys have seen my videos where i was doing mashed potatoes i added milk so i won't add milk because i don't want the consistency to be soft i want it to be like this so i'm adding my mixed herbs don't be shy don't be shy don't be shy with them herbs don't be shy with them herbs yeah so yes and then you're gonna butter your casserole put butter so that it does not stick and then you're gonna bake it for 20 minutes then it's fine so here you can use any leftover vegetables that you have so now i'm using leftover spinach that we ate last night yes leftover spinach we don't waste food we don't we don't waste no we don't waste so this is where the tin fish meatballs come in and then we add cheese what's dinner with a cheese bruh cheese cheese um, tass. mushroom um, tass. Ish. so after adding mushrooms put it in the oven and then oh, voila oh voila after 20 minutes it's ready to be served it's so nice it's so nice guys i want to do this again i want to do this again so guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys will try this recipe out once you've tried it try and tag me on instagram 
yeah i hope you enjoyed my voice over guys it's been time i haven't been cooking in this channel i missed you guys so i'm gonna be cooking let me don't promise you guys anything because i don't fulfill my promises <laughs> i know i know i know <laughs> look at the cheese and that's look <laughs> i just love it when the cheese does this so i used cheddar cheese here i used cheddar cheese just look, I've, I've a little cheese with that. Bye! <laughs>